Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are featuring Rank the Tank. Um, so you'll remember i done a couple of replays um, before this called The Good, Bad and the Ugly. Um, turns out uh, another YouTuber on PC has done exactly the same thing, uh, which I wasn't aware of. So I decided to change this up a bit and rename it. So um, similar concept, but we've changed the name. That's all it is. So this is going to be the first episode of Rank the Tank. And today's video, we're going to be featuring three replays on tier 9 heavy tanks, and we're going to rank them accordingly. Now, this ranking is going to be based off my opinion and, you know, maybe taking into consideration what the player base also thinks. But mainly, you know, this is based on what I think of the tanks. So, yeah, we will get straight into the replay. So at number three then, it is the Chinese heavy tank, the Wizzy-111. Um, now, I rank this at three just because I, uh, of, uh, it's been a bit of a pig to, to grind, to be fair. I've um, been grinding Chinese lines recently. And uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm just doing this for the 113. Um, I probably, I, I may grind for the 5A, but to be fair, I don't really need the 5A. You know, I've got the Quillen, you know, which is, is, is pretty much the same tank, but just a bit more uh, bit more alpha. But, um, but anyway, first, uh, yeah, so the, the video here with the Wizzy, um, we've tuned up with a uh, with good friend, um, Lateral Mass. Um, Mass is going to take the middle, and I'm going to go to the left-hand side here. Um, we're on Pearl River and uh, for me this is where, you know, this is usually where your heavies come, spit your ball point. This in the middle where, where Mass is obviously, um, that's where you're going to get all the action. And um, and yeah, we, we, we can see already we've got, uh, we've got quite a few tanks that have come this way so we're going to waste no time in getting involved. Um, Mass is coming in from the middle. He's coming in hot behind this tank in front of us. Um, you know, we're obviously just being a bit hesitant and uh, just biding our time. So we don't have to worry too much about the tank on the right because we know Mass is going to come in and take uh, the attention away. Yeah, he's going to take that tank's attention away. And, and you know, I mean, that guy's still focusing ahead of him, but uh, you know, he's going to get cleared out. So Mass has pushed him out into our fire. We've managed to get a shot into him. Luckily, Mass manages to, uh, to take that guy out. And now the, the pair of us can now focus on the, the, the tanks in front here. This poor TBP, bless him, he's, um, he's just going to get mashed up here. Um, yeah, that flamethrower ain't going to save you either, buddy. But uh, <laughs> we, uh, you know, myself and Mass make light work with that guy. I'm focusing on the 705 now. Um, like I say, we, we, we're trying to push the aggression here and you know get these tanks dealt with so that we can push into the, um, well, essentially push into the, their base, but probably push around to the center. Um, now some poor aiming from me here means that we don't quite get the kill shot on this uh, 705. We're trying to aim in to see if we can get the kill, but uh, it gets taken out by our friendly T32. Um, get, now I've got a 60 TP here. Um, fortunately, Mass has just bounced off. And he just angles his up, you know, just angles his tank enough so that the lower plate bounces my shot. Um, Mass is obviously getting around the side of him. Um, yeah, we take a shot into his lower plate. Um, and yeah, we, we, we take a shot in the turn here. Um, it's just not ideal, but I'm not too fast at this stage. I just wanted to sort of get rid of that guy. Um, now you'll see here that the other flank um, has just sort of crumbled away, basically. I think the majority of the tanks either went middle or here. And what was, you know, whoever sort of remained on the uh, opposite flank um, got deleted pretty quickly. So, you know, that's, that leaves us at risk of being capped out. So I said to Mass at this point, we should probably turn back and uh, defend the base. So that's where we're going to head to. We, we're going to get around and get rid of these tanks. Uh, yeah, we're just going to basically swing 
our aggression round to the other flank now um, and try and protect our base so we don't get capped out. So yeah, we're uh, there's a bit of a journey to go and um, getting there, but yeah, you know some of the points on this tank, on this tank, should I say? Um, you know the turret armor is quite nice. It's just you know you've got five degrees of gun depression, so you know on ridge maps it, it can be quite tricky. Um, you can side scrape with it. Um, it is effective in that sense, but yeah, you know your five degrees of gun depression really are going to come to you. So uh, yeah, we shot into that Brask and set him on fire, which is really nice. Um, Mass then shuts down the Brask, which was uh, yeah, it's a good shot there. Um, gets rid of a dangerous tank. Uh, again, like I've always said, Brasks and light tanks at the end game can be really, really dangerous. So um, it was good to get rid of that guy. Um, there's the there's an unskinned Valor shot there, which is you know getting closed in by Mass and, and the majority of the team. So I've just decided I'm going to press on. Um, yeah, there's only three tanks left, so you know I want to get to that damage as quickly as possible and try and coax a bit more out of this game before it ends. Um, the unskinned Val obviously gets taken out of the bat there. Um, we're just looking at what we can uh, find. We've got the Charlemagne in front of us here. He takes a shot from our AMX to the left here. Um, not quite sure what else is up here. Obviously, our artillery is going to be floating around somewhere. And, you know, we need to be careful we don't get shot down by that guy. But um, I'm kind of thinking, you know, we're going to close in on the Charlemagne. I've just seen the Progetto um, get lit up on the other side. I don't think we're going to get to him quite in time. I, I think he's going to get and he's going to get surrounded and swarmed by this medium and, and uh, light tank. Um, but he's essentially probably going to get shot from the guys advancing in at the back there. So, uh, although I'm keeping my gun on him just in case he does crest the ridge and come this way, I'm sort of thinking, I think this guy's game is pretty much over. And yeah, um, the unskinned Valor on our team has just confirmed that. So we're going to uh, pay our attention to Charlemagne here and just try and see if we can get some shots of damage off um, before the game ends. Um, Poor aiming on my part, I should have let the gun aim in. Again, the gun is quite derpy. Um, you know, it's, it's got really nice alpha when it hits, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it needs some time to aim in. You need to be, you need to be patient with it, basically. So we uh, ran into Charlemagne, back off, get the shot off the plate, and uh, yeah, finish the game. So there we go. That was uh, that was just a bit of gameplay on the Wizzy. Dash one one one. Um, see, we come top of the board there. Um, you know, credit to Mass as well. He had a really good game. Um, they've come with four point three k damage, thirteen hundred assists. Only the first class, just the one kill as well. But uh, yeah, it was some nice platoon play, um, showing off the Wizzy Dash one 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 there. So yeah, it's okay tank, but um, yeah, certainly not one of my favourites, and I probably won't be playing it much when I'm done with it. That's for sure. Okay, so we move on to number two, which is the M103. And on this replay, we're on half your pass. And I believe we're, I don't know if we're top tier or mid tier, but um, we'll soon find out. But uh, yeah, so the M103, yeah, it's, to be fair, it's, it's actually quite a good tank. I, um, they made a few buffs this, uh, to this tank recently as well, or um, not so long ago, um, which uh, I think uh, actually had a bit of a reload buff, if I remember rightly, maybe some armor buffs. Um, can't quite remember for the life of me, but um, but yeah, the M103, it, it's yeah, it's not a bad tank to be fair. I give it give it credit. It's um, I know amongst amongst all the heavy tanks at tier nine, it, it's definitely more up there but um, I ranked it number two anyway and um, so middle of the road it, it, it you know it does the job it's okay so on half your pass we're gonna move up to the middle and uh, in fact you know look at the E5 that confirms you are mid tier and uh, yeah I, I go up to the middle on this map just because it's pretty much where all the action is. Um, I think with Half Your Pass, it's still relatively, it's a relatively new map. Um, so 
you know, people are still working out. To be fair, I'm still sort of working out where the be where the best spots are on it. But um, you know, most most games, if I'm in a heavy or sort of a medium with a bit of armor, I will usually come up to the mid section here, um, just because I know, you know, at this point I've got two, you know, two or three different angles of opportunities to get shots into, and. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've got this, uh, got an Avery in front of me, which I'm just being a bit cautious about. Um, obviously, I don't want to get hit by an Avery and lose the majority of my hit points, uh, especially so early on in the game. Um, G saw pokes up, we tune, but it just bounces. It's up, it's up a place at a real angle and just bounces. Uh, this IS-7 is now over P to get shot into us, and unfortunately pens us, which takes about 500 uh, hit points of our health. However, we're going to keep him trapped in place here. Um, unfortunately, he just gets out in time, uh, which is a shame because I was hoping we could keep him trapped in place enough for our, um, for our FE 4005 to get shot into him. You can see the uh, 4005 got hit by the Avery and then finished off by the SOS 7, which now leaves us in a bit of an awkward position because um, we're kind of, yeah, we're kind of stuck in a crossfire a little bit. Um, but we're gonna, we're just gonna sort of rock backwards and forwards. We're keeping this building in between us, um, and that waffle, that waffle, luckily managing to get a shot into his, uh, into his turret there. Um, we're just being wary, obviously, with with what's around us. Um, now I'm gonna turn my attention to behind. Uh, luckily, the grill gets taken out, but you can see this 4005 is is starting to get rushed by two heavy tanks um, along uh, well along that 704 so we're going to get some shots into this object 752 here um, and we get well try getting a shot in there but unfortunately shooting down on his lower plate it's at an angle where it's going to bounce we <laughs> give a love tap to the object 752 and then we get a nice shot into the m103 so we pick up two kills in quick succession there which is quite nice um, which, yeah, so that worked out quite well for us. We get a shot into the big waffle there. Um, another dangerous tank, which luckily gets taken out by the grill. Um, it's fairly even numbers here. It's, you know, we're, we're only two tanks up. So we've got to be a little bit careful that we don't start throwing our tank away. AVRE comes around, gets shot by the uh, FE4005. We track him in place. Or we'll try to she re re repairs his track. We're gonna go in with everyone and get some shots into this guy. He's looking at us, but he's on a long reload, and we managed to take him out. You know, a good team effort to get rid of the Avery there. Um, their waffle takes out our grill, and we're just we're on five four now, so we're just one tank ahead, um, and we're just trying to work out basically where everyone is I'm pushing up ahead um, wanting to see if I can get some spots on uh, various tanks or try and find some information basically um, we see that uh, medium tanks up on his own there um, and we've got two tanks closing in on that, on that guy uh, I'm working my way around here to try and see if there's anything hiding at the back um, we're now, we now have a tank in, in the cap. Uh, TD gets spotted up on that ridge there, which is the mini waffle. Um, he takes out our Drogon, um, which now brings us to a level playing field. And at this point, I'm thinking, I think I need to get back and try and defend the base. Um, there's a TD head in there, but I'm just sort of thinking, Look, in this sort of position, sometimes, I mean, look, that 704 is on um, on very minimal hit points. So uh, the FE 4005 gets taken up by our mini waffle, well, by their mini waffle, sorry. Um, but yeah, like I say, our 704 is on very limited hit points, and I'm just thinking I best get over there, try and support him, try and get a reset. Um, the likelihood is he may well get taken out before I get there. Or he may get taken out trying to get the reset. 
But my thinking was just not try and rely on our team to get the reset. You know, I'm just going to head over there myself and try and see if I can get the reset. The Avery's over there now, and yeah, that's really presenting a problem to us because we can't just rush to get a reset on the cap. Um, you know, because the Avery's just going to absolutely farm us if we rush out into the open. It's going to easily pen us and take all our hit points. Yeah, you can see there, we're just exposing our terror and still manages to take like 400 health off us. So, yeah, this is a problem with the AVRE. It just, it makes, sometimes it makes plays impossible because you just can't run the risk. Um, if I'd had maybe a few more teammates, uh, you know, if it was still quite even, then yes, I would have made the play. Um, this mini waffle comes rushing in to try and, you know, he gets overconfident. Uh, he pays the price for that overconfidence. You know, I managed to, to take him out. Um, at this point, there's only 10 seconds on the cap here. It's pretty much a foregone conclusion. And it's really frustrating because, let's say, we we could have gone on to uh, have had a really, um, you know, we could have gone on to have a really better game there, but it just wasn't to be, unfortunately. And uh, we end up getting capped out. So, uh, yeah, it's. It was a close defeat and it was an unfortunate one to be fair, but um, we tried our best. And uh, yeah, so we come out of the game, 4.2k damage, 4 kills. Got the first class there, 846 assisted, um, which you know puts us top of the board. But yeah, it was just unfortunate that we, uh, that we couldn't do much more to be fair, so... So anyway guys, we will head over to our third replay and see what the first tank is. So, tank number one, the Conqueror. Um, she's your British tier nine heavy tank on the well, yeah, British line, obviously. Um, so yeah, we're on, the, we're on Serene Coast um, for the final replay. Um, the Conqueror, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of the best. And um, without a doubt, it's just, it's just, you know, it can really, it can hold quite well at tier 10 as well. And which you'll see, because we are mid-tier in this game. So, um, so yeah, it, it's just ideal on the ridge lines. Uh, you know, you've got 10 degrees of gun depression on it. Um, really good uh, rate of fire as well. So, you know, you've got good DPM to really start punishing tanks when you, when you get onto these ridges. So... And you'll see here, like I say, when we when we come up um, against some some of the uh, enemy tanks, you'll see. And we're coming on the left-hand side of Serene Coast here because it's got uh, it's got perfect ridge line to to play on. Yeah, it's a bit of a brawl spot here, so this is quite ideal for us. There is one enemy artillery, um, which is going to be an absolute pain in the backside to deal with. Um, well, not even deal with, just just cope with. To be fair, it's just gonna be, you know, raining shells on us like artillery does. But yeah, it's part of the game. You got to deal with it. And unfortunately, when you're in a heavy tank, you really have to deal with it quite a lot. So it's just part and parcel. It's what artillery does. But uh, you know, we'll see how we get on. And we uh, first tank we come up against is a uh, ruthless, which is uh, you know not ideal. But um, yeah, we, we're going to deal with it best we can. You know, we know, um, you know, we've we've got the gun depression to deal with this tank. Um, luckily, the ruthless has uh, the old E4 Coppola, which is obviously um, weak. On yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's Coppola is quite weak. Uh, you know, not uh, not stupid like what the current E4 is when they've done the armor buffs to it. Um, and we're just going to pen it quite easily, to be fair. Uh, unfortunately, we bounced that one. Um, not quite sure where that shot went, but uh, you know, just unfortunate. But that uh, ruthless gets taken out anyway, uh, and we can start moving on here now, which I'm going to do quite quickly because at this point I'm sort of getting quite annoyed with artillery just constantly firing at me. Um, try and get a shot in the side turret of the KPZ there, but unfortunately it just bounces. The light tank makes the beeline pass us, doesn't get a shot into us, but uh, yeah, I think he went round on someone else, but we weren't reloaded in time to get a shot into him. And now we're just going to press on, we're going to focus on this uh, yeah, Chrysler K here. Um, get a shot into his bottom plate, 
Yeah, you know, the Quarries of K is doing everything correctly. Um, you know, he's trying to hide his lower plate. Um, we're trying to see if we can get a shot on his Capola, but he's just, you know, he's doing the right thing. He's weaving in and out. So he, he took a shot, which allows us to uh, to overpeak and get a shot into his bottom plate. Um, he's now starting to try and force his way through, but we track him and damage his engine. Um, yeah, just, just stay doing what he was doing, um, hiding his lower plate. You know, probably uh, could have held us up a little bit longer, but um, you know, our friendly heavy tank comes with us, and the we managed to get the kill shot on the cries of case. So um, we can now advance this position, which is good. See the other side's holding up quite well on that flank. Um, you know, and again, that's the other brawl zone on this. Uh, on this flank, we loaded HE. Um, we're really unfortunate there that we, yeah, that the artillery was running away. It was angled, so the HE didn't quite pen properly, which is a shame. I was really hoping to get some punish on that artillery just for obviously all the pain that he's inflicted on me through this game. So, but he gets away, um, and uh, yeah, we don't manage to uh, fully pen our HE shells. So we've gone back to the APCR now, and. Uh, we're gonna go and try and help get rid of this Type 5 Heavy. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, because obviously Type 5 Heavy is, is gonna be, he's hunkering down there by the looks of it, so he might, he's gonna be a bit of a pain, but you know, there's plenty of us over here. Yeah, the numbers are quite good. We're five tanks up, so we should be able to deal with this guy quite effectively. We've got our Charlemagne here, over here in this, uh, and this Russian TD. And we're already getting some shots into him. Um, we we pop a shot in there, and we're just going to keep peppering away at this guy just to just to wear this health down. Uh, get a shot in the track there, just try and keep him in place. Um, but then this 50B pops up, try and help him out. Um, but uh, we get a nice shot into the 50B's turret there, and he gets taken out by a friendly Charlemagne. Um, we're just going to go back to focusing on this Type 5 now. I want to try and get as much damage out as possible. Uh, he's backing up. Uh, we get another shot into his track wheel there. Get a bit of damage as well. Um, we're getting some track assist, which is quite nice. Uh, type 5's got the arm and uh, gets a shot into us. Damages our arm rack and kills our driver. Uh, we tried just getting a shot into him, but I don't think we can there. But now he's backing up. Yeah, he, I think he knows it's kind of game over now. Russian TD's just sort of uh, pushing into him. And yeah, if we get the kill shot in the Type 5. Only the Death Star left, and he's just on the slip of health. And can I get the kill? No, can't. <laughs> he gets finished by our E50M. But yeah, we end up getting quite nicely there. That was a, that was a decent win. Good team effort as well. Um, we pushed both sides quite effectively. So you see where we come second place. Um, got two kills, 4.6k damage with 468 assist. Only the first class, but uh, yeah, just highlighting how good the Conqueror is. And, and without a doubt, definitely one of the best tier 9s in the game. I think the M103 is is, is close behind it. Um, but yeah, the Conqueror definitely uh, definitely goes strong in this in, in this category. So anyway, guys, that's enough for Rank the Tank. I really hope you enjoyed the uh, this, this feature. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you what you think. If do you agree, or you know, would you consider the Wizzy being better than the Conqueror? I'd be surprised if you did, but <laughs> we're all allowed opinions. So yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. But until then, I'll uh, see you next time. Take care.